All right, are you like us? We, I know people just cannot get enough of this raccoon. This raccoon scaled 25 floors of the UBS building in St. Paul, Minnesota. Day rolled into night. Spectators gathered. The internet tuned in. What happened to that raccoon? I, I love to be able to tell you these happy endings. Wildlife management in Minnesota held a press conference just a short time ago. Listen to this. So I'm with Wildlife Management Services and we removed a raccoon inside of a trap from on top of the UBS Center. Did you guys trap it too then? Yes, we did. And how did you do that? We set traps on the roof yesterday with some wet cat food and then the raccoon happened to go up there. I believe there was a tweet at 2.30 in the morning. So we found him at 2, or we heard the tweet at 2.30 in the morning and then we got out here right away this morning. Christina, how successful is uh, the cat food? Is that like the elixir that always gets these things in? It typically is the thing that gets them in, but we have other methods as well. Cat food is definitely the cream of the crop for them. So, gosh, what was it like to see this whole thing unfold in person? Tim Nelson is with us now, a reporter with Minnesota Public News Radio. Uh, he was at the scene. Tim, what, walk us through what you saw. Well, you know, this really started on Monday. We saw this raccoon stuck on the side of a building across the street from our studios, an old department store. And uh, some well-meaning maintenance people tried to rescue this raccoon with some makeshift scaffolding, and that's where things started to go wrong. Uh, apparently, when raccoons are scared, they head up. And mm -hmm. instead of coming down the scaffolding, this little raccoon started climbing a 27-story office oh, tower behind uh, the f facade of the building while we watched. You couldn't take your eyes off of it, could you? Admit it. I mean, this thing garnered a lot of eyeballs. It, I, I could not stop watching. You know, we started, uh, some uh, colleagues of mine said, oh, look, it's on the third floor. And by the time I got upstairs to look, it was on the fifth floor. Then it was on the sixth and the seventh. It would oh pause at every floor, lay down on the window ledge and take a little nap and then strike out across open space again. It was heart stopping. I just kept thinking one wrong step and bam, it's I know. raccoon pot pie on the ground. Oh, don't even say it. I know that you have video of the raccoon being picked up. Do you have any idea where it is now? Well, uh, Wildlife Management Services said that uh, after consulting with a wildlife rehabilitation center here in the Twin Cities, they said, uh, this uh, this little uh, critter here, she looks pretty healthy given her health, her uh, climbing habits and scarfing down a lot of cat food. So the best thing to do is get her out of her cage quick. So uh, they told us she, they took her to a private property nearby, released her. They actually posted some video on their website of uh, of this little raccoon leaving the cage and uh, enjoying the great outdoors much closer to the ground. Yeah, I heard that she even got an extra can of cat food. Uh, for the ride, just to try to make sure they, they could keep her calm. But, um, I mean, were you surprised? We talk about an awful lot of things on the news, but this one, this one, it, it's up there <laughs> with what, what everybody is, is talking about. Why do you think this was something people just could not get enough of? Well, you know, it's, these are tough times. We're facing, you know, uh, hard-fought midterm elections. There was a summit in Singapore between the North Korean leader and President Trump. And, you know, a lot of people wondering, is, is this peace between our countries that we're looking at here or something else? A lot, of, a lot of things to worry about right now. And here was something that everyone could hope in, that everyone could see and say, go raccoon, go. <laughs> Tim Nelson, you said it perfectly. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks for having me.